Okay, so after waiting two weeks for this package, I finally have it. So right inside of this package right here, I'm gonna open it. We should have my Google 6 Pro and it is right here. So let's go back home and unbox it. For those of you who are new to this channel, I'm Luke Ben Mahal Ford, a young photographer and filmmaker on a journey to become better at this side. And if you don't know, I was a really big fan of my Google Pixel 4a, so I'm super, super excited to open this Google 6 Pro, especially for the new cameras. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna start by opening the box right in behind here. So we're gonna open these little tabs. Let's just remove all of these books from here. And now for the big reveal, we're gonna open it. And here's the phone. So first thing, it's big, it's really, really big. Um, I don't really like big phones, but I guess to get the cameras in the back and everything, it's not really a choice. It's actually pretty cold also now. It's all metal in the back instead of plastic on the Google Pixel 4a. So this is the front right here. There's nothing to remove in the back. The camera bar is not as bad as I thought. Actually, like it doesn't look that bad at all, especially maybe in the black right here. I don't think it's terrible, but it does seem to have a lot of fingerprints in the back. So. I think we're ready actually to open it right up here. So we're gonna press it and here it goes, it opens. And while we open, we can have a look at what else is inside of the box right here. So we have our cable right here uh, to charge it. There's no charging uh, bricks. So you're, that's one of the things you need to know. And we have a normal USB here and some instructions that I'm probably never gonna read. Uh, but if you need your instructions, they're right here. So we have the whole phone here. So I'm gonna have to set it up and we're gonna be ready to go outside and actually go do a little photo walk and take some pictures and really test these cameras because I'm super excited to see how this wide angle lens, this normal lens, and also this telephoto works. And yeah, first looks, it seems to be really well built. Uh, it feels really good in the hand. Uh, there's clearly some haptics happening right now with me moving this around. So really excited to test it out. I'm finally outside and ready to test this Google Pixel 4a. So I'm currently using the front facing camera to record this video. I also enable speech enhance. So I hope it's gonna help with the background noise because there's streets around and a lot of background noise. Uh, but I'm really excited to test the photo capabilities of this device. So right now I'm first gonna go buy a case because we're not at the disc vintage, but this phone is that back is very slippery. It's a huge phone, so pretty hard to keep in your hand. So I'm first gonna get, go get uh, a case so I can make sure that it's safe then I'm gonna go outside and walk around around here before it becomes too uh, dark and also it starts raining and then I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures so I haven't really tested the camera yet I actually just took like 10 pictures yesterday so I'm really excited to see how it's gonna look I'm gonna put the full resolution pictures down below so you're gonna have a link to be able to view all of them if you want to go and see the, how they look and judge by yourself if they're good or not but this is not gonna be an in-depth review of the phone or the full capabilities it's really just a first look of how the camera is performing if you want to see the full review i'm going to have one that's going to be coming out about in one or two weeks and then i'm also going to have a bunch of other videos about the google pixel 6 pro including some videos about okay so i'm not too sure what happened but my inside 360 stopped recording because i said something that i didn't like uh, but yeah i'm gonna have other quick videos about comparison including one comparing it to the google pixel 4 i'm also going to have a video comparing to my dslr and they also the one I'm going to be receiving a little bit later, so the Sony A7 IV. So I'm really excited about all this comparison. I'm also hoping to film a full vlog using only this phone. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of content to see. So definitely subscribe if you're not already part of this community. So right here, I'm gonna go inside of the camera here. We're gonna switch back on the main camera. So one thing we're gonna notice right away is that now we have 0.7, two times and four times zoom. And if you go on two times, four times, you can actually select the exact zoom you want. So we can slide it here, get exactly what we want. Uh, and we're gonna get really good quality. So I think if I come here, I wanna want have a little bit of the rocks in the front, the door, the background. Uh, so maybe something a little bit like this. And we can take this shot right here. I might want to have a wide angle here, so I think the path leading over there is pretty nice. So if we come out here and we go on the wide angle, we're going to walk back a little bit. This is going to be a good test for the high dynamic range because we have the sky, we have all kinds of colors inside of here. Oh, the shot right in front of here, we have actually some pretty nice uh, architecture right here, so I'm pretty happy with this one. So we're going to see here, it's going to be a great one for a wide angle photo. So if we take it up one time, 
it's looking pretty good but now if we go out and have a wide angle this is a much more interesting shot so I'm really happy to have the wide angle I wasn't expecting it to use it too much but I've already been using it quite a lot so I think there's some right here so this is going to be a good test maybe so for some portrait mode photos so we can maybe go here I'm just going to take a picture of the leaves right here see how portrait mode works on that but I can see that even without portrait mode we already have quite a lot of blur inside of the photos so now there's a nice little deer here so I think one time zoom is looking pretty good but now I want to move on a time uh, try here four times zoom and see how this looks so you can see we can actually zoom in quite a lot right here and get all the detail right here and then I go on to test a few shots of the portrait mode with the colors in the leaves right here so I'm going to come up here I'm just going to go on the side we're going to switch to portrait mode and always remember to tap to focus. So right here, I'm gonna to tap to focus here, take a picture. I might zoom in right here, so I can actually use a two times zoom here. And I'm gonna see with portrait mode right here. I can zoom back out here with portrait mode still enabled. So I'm really excited to see how it's gonna come out. Oh, this one right here is pretty nice. So we have some nice red inside of the shot right here in the sleeve, contrasting with all the yellow in the background. So we're going to take this one here and I'm quickly going to look at my results here so up to now it's looking pretty good and the screen right here is really high quality because the zoom on the portrait mode doesn't look that good but the pictures in general are looking pretty good sharp detail I definitely want a few pictures of the Santa Claus right here so I'm going to come here again I love using foreground subjects here but if we were just on so on wide angle lens here we're going to see it's a decent shot if we go on the one time zoom still looks pretty good but you're going to see that zooming in using the zoom is going to make it much better. So now we can actually go through here. Okay, let's do a few other test shots here of the flowers. Okay, so just check the weather here and it's not looking too good. It's looking like it's going to be raining for the full rest of the day. So if I want to be able to get this video out tomorrow, I'm actually going to have to uh, stop filming and uh, go edit the video. So we might not have as many test shots as I would like, but I'm still going to try to take as much as possible while walking back home. Okay, so one thing I definitely want to be testing out before going back home is the new motion mode right here. So we're actually going to go on action time. So I'm going to have to wait for a car to pass and we're going to simply turn around the phone while the car is passing. This one is actually turning, so maybe we could try it out with this. You see? Oh, this is actually pretty cool. This is actually pretty decently cool. Take this one here. Okay, so the timing is actually quite hard to get. Yeah, so there's definitely some pretty cool shots. Uh, but let's just wait, there's a red car coming over there. And just quickly I want to talk about, so this is not a 15 megapixel, so the sensor in the back right here is a 15 megapixel sensor for both the main camera and also the zoom lens. But they're actually not 15 megapixel in the end, they're 12 megapixel because they're binding the pictures at the sensor level. I'm going to go in more detail about that uh, inside of my video, uh, where I'm going to do a full review of the camera. But it's just good to know that it's not actually 50 megapixel and you cannot get the same megapixel photos with this phone. So if you're wondering, that's one thing to know. So I'm pretty happy with the detail in the clouds here. It's actually really wide for me, so even seems to be getting a little bit more detail than I do. So that's definitely quite impressive. I want to get a picture of this guy walking right here, so full time zoom. Just want to get him perfect. So again, it's so cool having a zoom. So I do see that the pictures if the zoom are a little bit over sharpen here so we definitely seem to have them over sharpen uh, but they still look a lot more uh, a lot better than the old ones where you had uh, zoom using ai so i'm pretty happy that we're getting this so actually we realized that i didn't really test the portrait mode so let's go on here uh, we're going to turn around the camera and i'm going to take a little selfie here so test this out so it does seem to have a fixed focus lens, which is not great. Uh, I talk more about it in one of my videos where I explain how to take some better portrait photos. By the way, if you haven't seen, I have a full series on how to take some better pictures using your phone. So definitely go check that one out. But let's just take a few other ones here. And if we're going to make it a little bit harder here, we're going to have the trees in the background. So it might, it's probably going to be a little bit harder for 
uh, the software to detect what is the edge of my hair. So we're gonna take a few ones right here. So now if we check again, the processing is not live. So it's not like on iPhones where you see a live preview, you have to wait it uh, for the processing afterwards. I'm actually surprised it still takes quite a lot of time because I was expecting it to be a little bit faster using the Tensor chip. But if you look at the result here, it does seem to be doing a pretty good job with my hair all around. But I would say it's pretty similar to the results we used to have on the previous Google Pixel phones. So now I probably want to do a little walking test. So for this, we're going to switch to the video. They have new stabilization modes, so I'm hoping they're better. So we're going to turn around the camera. I have the video right now set, I think, at 4K. We're just going to check that 4K, 30 frames per second. So we're going to turn around the camera here, and I'm simply going to walk. So I'm not, I'm walking normally, so the camera is a little bit bouncing around. Uh, but we're going to see if it's actually stabilizing it uh, well or not. I also wanted to look at the image to see if it's still completely over sharpened. So for this, I'm just going to turn around the camera a little bit here. Try and get some of the detail. Go back here. Hand up. And I'm really excited to see how stable it's going to come out. It does seem to be looking pretty good right now. Um, it's going to be a question of... Does it actually good, look good or not? So let's take a few other photos right here. So we can actually see we have nice, some nice colors. In the background, so I actually think here a wide angle photo is gonna be looking pretty nice. But I wanna try and zoom there because there's some ducks right here. You couldn't see them when I was on the walk to the photo. But now that we're zoomed in, we can actually see them a little bit more. I think it's also gonna be a good test to zoom even more. So if we wanted to go over form, we can actually go up to 20 times optical uh, digital zoom i don't use this at all uh, but still we're going to be able to test out if the quality goods looks any good or not so yes she is coming back down oh could i get a motion photo of the person running right there oh that looks really good that was actually pretty cool and you can actually use the telephoto right here to take some motion photos i really like this view right here so let's take another wide to the photo lens photo here i do want to include the trees a bit more on the right here because they're nice and colorful so yeah as you can see it's really cool having multiple lenses here where we're really able to go through the different modes and get some different types of shot so we're just a little bit too late for fall colors right here so that's a little bit disappointing but i'm doing the best with what we have so right here i do want a wide angle lens photo right here so we're gonna continue moving. I should maybe want to wait here for another bike to pass by if I can get somebody. It could be really cool. Also, let's go in motion. Oh, so these are really cool. So it's not perfect. It's definitely not a perfect, but motion photos are definitely something I'm gonna be using way more than I expected. I wasn't super excited about this feature, but I'm having a lot of fun using it right now. So there's not even portrait mode on and we have really good depth of field inside of this it might be prime for some portraits or things like that uh, but if you want to just take pictures without having to use portrait mode to get some blur it's actually a really well welcome uh, update here to have a bigger sensor that allows to get some more natural uh, blur inside of the photos okay so it's almost 1 p.m so i'm gonna go back inside i'm gonna eat my lunch and then i'm gonna come back outside if it's still looking nice i'm gonna take the car and go get some pictures by the lake because i really want to get a few landscape shots to be able to test this out but up to now i must say i'm pretty pleased with the results we're getting it's actually pretty good results other photos just as we would expect from the Google Pixel 6. I'm not sure they're as good as some people, some people hope uh, because it was so hyped as a phone but they're still really good results and I think it brings back the Google Pixel, so Pixel 6 and the Google Pixel 6 Pro up to the top of some of the best camera phones uh, on smartphones. Sadly it's been raining non-stop since I came back earlier so I haven't had time to go out and take some other pictures but I wanted to publish this video as quick as possible so I decided to finish editing it instead and look at the pictures so I must say that I'm pretty happy with most of the results I've been getting up to now using the Google 6 Pro so they're pretty much similar to what you would expect from a Google Pixel 4a but they're a little bit sharper they look better and the addition of the telephoto lens and also the 
wide angle lens are very welcome. I really enjoy using both of these lenses and make much better pictures overall, allowing to have some optical lenses, not using digital tricks to be able to fix them. I would say one thing and where I agree with NKBHD's review is that sometimes they over process a little bit too much the pictures, which sometimes, especially I would say on the wide angle lens, makes them look kind of a little bit unnatural. But apart from that, it's a really great camera on this side smartphone. I also really enjoyed the motion photo uh, option. It wasn't something I was really, really expecting, but overall I've been having a lot of fun, but I'm definitely gonna have to test all of these camera system much more in detail for my upcoming review. So that's gonna be coming out in a few weeks. And if you wanna watch other videos to learn how to take some good pictures using your phone, I'm gonna have some other videos that I already made on that subject. I have plenty of them. So definitely go check those out while waiting. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the like button below and definitely subscribe for more content on the Google Pixel 6 Pro, but also on photography and filmmaking. See you in the next one. Right, let's do a selfie. That was beautiful. That was nice. It's a wide angle selfie. Yeah, yeah.